Welcome to DS Trucks. As promised, we are increasing the weight on the trailer. I'm here at the um, at the dump getting fill dirt so that we can be a little bit heavier. The goal is to be about 8,000 pounds total, so we're doing two yards of fill dirt. That's the perfect weight for the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. And it's a good weight for this F-150 as well, even though this truck can tow 13,000 pounds. I need to get into all the weight distribution hitches and all that stuff in order to bring this truck to 13,000 pounds. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this loaded. See you guys once it is loaded. Alright, so we are headed in to doing this test to see how this truck does with two yards of field dirt. But I will say this, this is definitely more than two yards in my opinion. So as you saw, the size of the loader, it would have been kind of hard to get two yards with something that big. But this to me looks more like four yards. Let me adjust the camera here. This to me looks more like four yards because i mean the trailer is like full <laughs> it's like halfway full and it's loaded a little back heavy too a little tail heavy um so you know it is what it is i guess but anyway let's pull it and see how it does and you can definitely but i will say this you can tell that this that it's heavy man you know two yards you really shouldn't feel it but man everything's working now so Anyway, let's uh, get the camera set up and see how it does. All right, guys. So I want to go ahead and weigh this trailer because this is pretty heavy. I'm going like 35 miles an hour right now. I tell you what, guys, the tires on the trailer are squatting. This this load is pretty heavy, but now the truck's doing great. But I just I got to I got to weigh this trailer and truck to see how heavy this is, because I definitely think I'm overloaded more than I, I definitely think i have more than two yards of dirt oh definitely but we're gonna see you can feel it in the brakes for sure you gotta leave extra space the whole the whole deal so let's go ahead and jump on the scale and see how heavy this uh this whole setup is all right guys so we're pulling up on the scale no how heavy this trailer is all right, so we're at 17.3, 17,320 pounds. So we're essentially almost at girls. We're essentially almost at girls vehicle weight <laughs> rating. All right, guys, see you in a second. All right, guys, so I just got the weight ticket and I'm loaded to 17,320 pounds. So this actually just turned into 3.5 EcoBoost max towing. This is uh, too much for the F1 for the 270 EcoBoost. It's probably not a good idea to do that with that truck, but uh, it's uh, within the gross combined weight rating of this truck. This truck has an 18,000 pound gross combined weight rating, so we're right there with this truck. We are right there. So I guess we will continue to shoot and film and talk and talk about how this truck does at max towing. Anyway, see you guys at the next scene. Okay, so I've done the math on how much weight we're pulling. And like I said, the gross combined weight of the trailer in the truck right now is 17.3. The gross combined weight rating of this F-150 truck and trailer is 18,000 pounds. So we're just within there, with the, within the uh, gross combined weight rating, with a few hundred pounds to spare. 
I uh, did the math with this truck weighing 5,400 pounds at 5,400 pounds. Gotta watch this guy. At 5,400 pounds, uh, this trailer alone weighs 11,800 or so pounds. So we're at least towing like 11,008, 11,009, give or take 100 pounds or so. So that's pretty interesting. So I ordered two yards, but they gave me more like four yards. So, you know, it's kind of cool. It is what it is. It works out good for this towing video. They loaded the tongue a little bit light, probably because it is an F-150. So the tongue is loaded a little bit light. It's not squatting a whole lot more. And it's going down the road pretty good. So I want to take this truck over to where that hill was that we did in our last video, which is basically, it was basically a bridge with a little bit of a grade. And we'll see how the truck does. But I just reset the trip computer and it's getting like 11 miles to the gallon right now. But I'll uh, touch base with you guys once we get to the bridge. All right, guys, and there is the bridge. So we'll see how it does in this little bit of a grade here. But you can definitely feel that weight back there. This is pushing it, guys. We've got Like I said, 11,000 plus, maybe closer to 12,000 pounds. Uh, we're hitting this grade. We'll see what it does. Alright, got a green light, but traffic stopped pretty good. So I am noticing that the engine braking kicks in a lot more when you're on a steep grade. Must be something in a computer. Put this left. So that was actually not bad. Like I feel like the braking could be a little better, but if the engine brake if the engine brake would kick in more it would be uh i think it'd be a little bit better going downhill was actually was actually not bad but uh we're gonna go ahead and get on the highway and we'll see how it does anyway see you guys on the highway all right guys getting on the highway let's see how she does now i'm not gonna be going too crazy fast but you know uh just whatever the minimum speed is for trucks so anyway we'll get our own up we gotta get it up though there's people behind me like what is this guy doing so pedal to the floor someone's gonna cut me off can't let him up to 60. Woo -hoo -hoo. we're moving so yeah it's doing pretty good pretty stable no sway or nothing um but yeah pretty uh pretty cool stuff here gonna cruise 70 now we're getting eight to the gallon after having to give it the the beans a little bit but yeah it's doing good so yeah this is uh this is pretty heavy uh this truck i don't know if i'm gonna have it much longer so it's kind of a it's kind of a good thing that they loaded it so heavy because i always wanted to know how it would do toward the maximum gross vehicle weight rating and we're right there i mean this truck it's rated to tow 13,000 pounds now we don't have that many tools in here i've got like an impact i've got a chain i've got a few things in the truck and can this truck tow 13,000 pounds well we know that the trailer's close to 11 9 or 12 and we have maybe a uh, few hundred maybe seven six seven hundred pounds left so it could i mean it could get close to the gross vehicle weight rating but i don't know it'd be very very hard it'd be very close so this is pretty much uh what you this is, gives you a little bit of margin and it's pretty much the most you'd ever do is it safe now i probably don't have enough tongue weight but i still have at least five six hundred pounds and it, there's zero sway it's totally safe or, and everything it's not you know does that mean i want to hit a big speed bump on the highway not gonna be good but the truck's solid 
you know, it's going down the road true and straight. I could do this all day. It's not swaying at all. It doesn't feel like it's losing any control at all. And honestly, right now, cruising, tow haul mode, we're in uh, ninth gear. It's not going to 10th. We're at like 13, 1400 RPM. The MPG is pretty good and it's a pretty relaxing drive. So I could do this all day. It's doing well. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, being patient. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head back home and we'll do a quick walk around of the truck. We'll look at some things. Anyway, see you guys there. Now, before we get back home, I will say that the 10 speed is pretty phenomenal uh, on highway speeds with this much weight behind it. We're towing 11,900 pounds and we're getting about eight to the gallon. There's some traffic here getting on. But we're getting like eight to the gallon. But the 10 speed's just great, man. It's like, it doesn't get till 10th, to 10th gear, but it really does work out good having a 3.55 gear and a 10 speed. Has a, has a lot to play with as far as gearing goes. And with this weight, it's not really in the 10th gear, but I think that's good considering that gear is really for when you're empty and you're just trying to get maximum MPG, but uh, all, all in all, the truck's doing good, but anyway, see you guys at the next scene. Alright, and here we are. Truck did great, guys. So, if you've been following along, you know that they loaded us with way more than two yards just of uh, field dirt, but it worked out good because it's about time that we actually put this truck to the test here and carried some serious weight. So what do we have? We have about just under 12,000 pounds, guys. Just under 12,000 pounds behind the F-150. Um, in my opinion, the truck did better on the highway than it did in the city. The city was okay. All the power, all the low-end torque kind of uh, made the back tires break loose a little bit trying to accelerate you heard some squealing some chirping and at the end of the day with all the power you can only get this weight moving so fast with the single rear wheel f-150 so it doesn't matter how much power you throw at it it's just you're limited by the traction so as far as the tongue weight i think the tongue weight's too light for the load but it's not in a, it's not dangerous or squirrely or anything it's just technically you want a little squat you want you know 1200 pounds on a tongue and i don't think we have that right now i don't have a way safe hitch or anything on it right now so i don't know but the goal today was only to do the maximum towing i was trying to get to about 8,000 pounds for the 270 eco boost but i ended up with way more than 8,000 pounds we ended up closer to 12 or 13 but the weight is on the trailer nonetheless so I guess maybe I'll try to pull it with the 2.7 and see how it does. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. Can the 2.7 pull 11,000 pounds? It'd be, a definitely, it'd be definitely over the rating of the truck, guys. So I got to really take that into consideration. But would that be, be interesting? Would it be interesting to see the 2.7 pull what the 3.5 liter EcoBoost is rated for? But... Anyway, guys, I'm going to grab my camera off of the truck and I'm going to head in. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Over and out.